Hey buds, welcome back to Madibles and welcome back to our Has Been Hotel reaction series. Yes, oh my god, I, can't, I, I lose my, my mind every time. You know, some days you're just in a good rhythm, and then some days you're just not in a good rhythm. I don't know how to do my intros this week, it's just how it's going. But I want to address this beforehand, if you see any writing on me, it's because my girlfriend's doing acupuncture and I am a voodoo doll. Okay, that's what we gotta do. That's, so, there's some on my face too. Don't worry, just no one, no one look at me anymore. I didn't mean that, please look at me. I, I very much enjoy attention and reacting to things and having a good time. Okay. Hi, how's it going? Check out this thing. Greatly appreciate it. Consider subscribing. Unless you're only here for has been, then I guess at some point we're going to run out of has been, which I guess we got two episodes left and then we got hell of a boss and then I don't know. So you don't have to subscribe. If you, if you don't want to subscribe, just like the video maybe. And, and that'll, that'll be an equal trade, right? I don't know. I don't know how YouTube enjoys its uh, algorithm stuff. But I don't like making people do things that they don't want to do or are only going to do for a little bit. So I'll take any support I can get. A nice comment. I always read through a lot. Of, I read through a lot of comments to a fault at some point. Um, and then, but if you don't want to subscribe because you're like only here for a certain thing, you don't have to subscribe. Just consider liking the video. Even consider it. That's fine. I I, I don't mind that. We're, we'll grow at some point. Um, okay. This is uh, episode seven. Ugh, we have one more after this. I'm excited for Hell of a Boss. I don't know anything about it, but it's gonna it's gonna be bad to see. Um, it's gonna be sad to see has been go. Uh, this is called Hello Rosie. Hello Rosie, Renee's boat. <sighs> I don't know why I always gotta do that there. There's the tubas. What's so important about Rosie? And I don't think I've met a Rosie yet. <laughs> I'm just a little nervous. It's getting kind of nuts here. So, like, where are your wings? Nifty, I don't have... Did you ever think maybe she's sensitive about her lack of wings? Just like her lack of tits? Yeah, where are your tits? <sighs> okay. Everybody has different sized tits. All right. It's... <laughs> Go around grabbing them. Any other questions? I got one. How come every time Charlie talks to heaven, we get in deeper and deeper shit? It's not her fault. Angels are just liars. Difficult. Both, I guess. Uh, I didn't realize, I didn't put that together. I, l I do love Charlie a lot, but they are right. The first time they, they talked to, um, oh my god, Adam, the dick, um, he shortened the cooldown um, to six months instead of a year. So he's done that, and now they're now they're definitely coming back. So I guess uh, <laughs> Charlie's not really helping that much. If anything, this hotel is uh, is going to kill more people faster. But Charlie's trying her best. Yeah, yes. well, her best is turning out real well so far. Now, where yeah. is Miss Fearless Lita anyway? <laughs> Isn't it about... <laughs> I'm distracted because he's so happy with the cat. <laughs> or, wait, is that a cat? What is that? But look at it, he's got like little watery eyes. He loves it. Time for another doom to fail plan. She's upstairs. Coming up with something, I'm sure. In our room. Alone. I try to pause it on that. That was a very cool and spooky transition. Is this going to be possible? Do I need to call the police? Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see. Look at this. Look at this. What a freeze frame. Disgusting. Oh, Charlie, you look an absolute mess. Ugh, go away, Alistair. No. Why would you now, say that? Is that any way to act after picking a fight with all of heaven and dooming everyone you love? <laughs> I have enough on my mind without hearing your sadistic idea of a joke, asshole. Who's joking? <gasps> you have a captive audience downstairs waiting to hear what kind of inspiring performance you have planned next. <sighs> I can't. Oh, she has little, little pants straps. 
so can cute. I face them after failing them all so hard? They came here to be saved. Does she have hooves? Oh my god. Look at Are those her feet? I don't know why I never thought of that or notice. Does she paint her toenails red? I I had no idea. Is, is this a shock to anybody else? Did anyone else notice that she has hooves? Unless it's really just something I'm, I'm confusing it. And all I gave them was more pain. I'm just as bad as the cruelest overlord. I guess she's not a human. Uh, maybe worse. At least they don't go around giving false hope. Well, I never expected to see such a miserable display of self-loathing from you. Oh, fuck you, Alistair. All you do is stand there smiling while you watch us struggle and fail. I don't know how you like enjoy all the suffering so much. <laughs> Just because you see a smile. <sighs> Hold on. I got goosebumps from that. It was, it was, I, I hate this scene. This whole picture. Th I don't like any of this. He was like, bleh, bleh. get her, get him away. Disgusting. I don't think you know what's <sighs> going on underneath. A smile is a valuable tool, my dear. It inspires your friends, keeps your enemies guessing, and ensures that no matter what comes your way, you're the one in control. But I'm not. <laughs> I'm the farthest thing from in control. The person I trust most has been lying to me for years. Heaven refuses to listen. Even if they did, I can't prove the hotel works. Adam has an invincible exorcist army pointed right at my doorstep, and there's nothing I can do about any of it! Yeah. You're technically right, but also, if heaven was decent, they would give you more time than a few months to, like, I guess it's been, like, six months, right? I, I, rehabilitation takes some time, and sometimes people mess up, and they need to restart, and you only have a few people. I, I feel like heaven should give you, like, a few years, if anything, like, give you a, some kind of serious run, but, like, also, there's a lot of this other shit going on. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Don't, don't. I know something you don't know. What? Huh? Those big scary angels are not quite as indestructible as they seem. What are you talking about? Just that you and your little band of misfits might stand more of a chance than you think. How? I'll do anything. Anything? Then let's make a deal. No, no. No. such a snake he is such a snake he is what i expected like lucifer to actually be is the one going around taking souls making deals being spooky and creepy and, and then lucifer is a, a a delightful soul it seems and a, and a good dad you you want my soul your soul no Heavens, no okay need from you okay. is one itty bitty favor what what's a favor between friends i won't hurt anyone for you who's asking one favor at a time of my choosing where you harm no one in okay. return i tell you what i know i don't like it but it's not horrible but it can be but she is desperate <sighs> but also Right, let's we have a deal. Deal. No, no, I, I take it back. No, no. <laughs> right on cue. What did you do? Let her go. Maggie, stop. Uh, what? No. It was such a like, I thought it was such a like innocent little deal. I thought it was like, okay. You do something for me, it won't hurt anybody, it'll be fine. I'm like, okay. She takes the hand, and the whole fucking building shakes, and it gets green veins coming around. Oh, we're just, this is not good. No, Charlie, please tell me you didn't. I made a deal with Alistair. Charlie! Oh, calm down, she still owns her soul. He gave me info that can save the hotel, but we're going to need help. The angels can be defeated, and Carmilla is the key. What? Carmilla Carmine? She killed an exorcist in the last extermination. She knows how they can be harmed. But I, I didn't even know that was possible. If you did, would you have told me? Charlie. Well, I mean... Well, it, all right. 
you're gonna get some flack for a little bit, and rightfully so, all right? You did hide it for a little while. And, but you're still in the place, and they're not threatening you. They're just gonna give you a little sass, all right? Just accept it for a little bit. But also, you lost your eye. You should know you could be injured. I, I need you to go to her. Convince her to teach us. If she can, we might have a chance. With just the seven of us? No, we're... We're gonna need numbers, too. And I know just who can help. Of course, dude's always just lurking and waiting for a little intro to get in. And then he kind of sneaks his way in and gets what he wants. He, all right. There's a whole thing with, like, right place at the right time. But there's a, <laughs> I guess there's a skill to be, like, a shadow. And you just wait for a good opportunity. And you're like, I have an idea. As long as Charlie can be her normal, charming self. What's that you said about smiles? Good girl. Charlie, can we talk about this? We can talk later. Right now, we have a job to do. You with us? <sighs> oh. So, uh, Alistair and Charlie just left like they were running away from their responsibilities. <laughs> Should we be alarmed? No. We have a plan, but it includes defending ourselves against the angels. Are you fucking high? They can be killed. Yeah, that knife lady, Camaro Car Five, killed one. Wait, you knew about that? <laughs> I forgot, because he's the one that told Alistair, right? I don't remember what happened when he was spying on them, but I'm pretty sure he was in that meeting where they talked about this stuff, and I kind of forgot all about that. <laughs> the egg guy. Oh, yeah, I told Boss about it months ago. Yeah, yeah. In what? What? They say insane shit all the time. How was I supposed to know this one was true? <laughs> it's, he's got a point. He's got a point. Accounts are a scam created by the shadow government. See? Hold on. I want to hear that one from the beginning. It was, that was so funny. <laughs> it's, okay. Ugh. They say insane shit all they the time. They say insane shit all the time. How was I supposed to know this one was true? Bank accounts are a scam created by the shadow government. See? <sighs> What's important now is that we're going to have a fight on our hands. Oh, God, it's funny. Look, this hotel is about to become the most dangerous place in hell, and we... I can't guarantee your safety anymore. I still believe in Charlie's dream. I know this place can work, but none of you signed up for this. I'm gonna go learn how we can fight back. But That's very responsible of her. Like she wa she wants it to be what it what she she wants it to be what Charlie wants it to be, but she also is a realist and like they're gonna come regardless. So I gotta make sure we're defended so I can protect you guys. So she really wants to be there. It's not like she's a spy or anything. She just like was afraid of being rejected as, as an angel, and she was in a rough spot because she just got betrayed. She's got a whole problem going on, and a lot of it's a her thing. You know, it's. It's decisions that she made. But she's trying to do the right thing. I respect that. When I come home, we'll all understand if none of you are here. <sighs> well, this is awkward. Hey! Three years! Three! I forgot about Cannibal Town. I think it was in one of the songs we reacted to. I remember screaming about Cannibal. It, like, it haunts my dreams that there's a town in hell. For cannibals. Years I've been sharing my life with her, and I tell her everything. My hopes, my dreams, my insecurities, my embarrassing habits, what fucking deodorant I like. And she keeps something like this from me. Why would she lie for so long? Does she think I wouldn't accept her? What about me? Me says ununderstand. God, they're so creepy. Why are cannibals so different looking than everybody else? Why do they have the hollowed out insides? Does that have anything to do with eating bodies? Because if you eat a body, you're eating out the inside. So is that, that why they don't have like? No, that can't be it. Misunderstanding. Misunder. Wait. Why are they? Where are we? Cannibal Town. There's a friend of mine. I think you should meet. In Cannibal Town, but it's it's surprisingly nice here. Isn't it though? And it's all thanks to a very special someone. Okay. It is very nice in like. It's got like a little cute 70s or whatever aesthetic. But even if I went back to the 70s and I was walking around New York City or whatever it is, okay, and everybody had like black holes for eyes and sharp teeth, it would retract all the nice and delightful things going around. 
I mean, I guess they all could be nice people, and I shouldn't judge by the looks, but it's still a little scary and alarming. Okay. Well, who hasn't thought about eating their first husband? I certainly would have if he didn't taste so bad. <laughs> I tell you what, you bring old, tall, dark, and armless to me, and I'll straighten him right out. Okay, sweetie. Now, here's my card. Oh, my stars. Do my eyes deceive me? Alistair? Alistair! Where have you been? These holes really lost some of their sparkle without your lively presence. And oh, who's this you brought with you? Lively presence? Come now, Alistair. She's much too young for you. Oh, I'm just kidding. I know you're an ace in the hole. A what now? But where are your men? <laughs> is that a uh, is that a preference joke? <laughs> you know, cause ace, you know, that whole thing. <laughs> Is it cool? Excuse me? Mister, introduce us, uh, why don't you? Ah, yes. The Charlie. This funny. is Rosie, the most Rosie. Darling, delightful and dangerous overlord this side of the pentagram. I kind of like Rosie. <laughs> Always such a charmer. And Rosie, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Princess Charlie Morningstar, daughter of Lucifer and heir to the throne of hell. How do you do? <laughs> well, well, isn't this? Regal surprise. Come in, come in. Can I offer you something to eat? I'm sure I have a leg around here or something. Oh, what am I thinking? Small thing like you. You're probably <laughs> watching your figure. How about some nice pinky fingers instead? Um, no, no, thank you. Where, where do they get all these body parts from? Do they eat other cannibals? Great. I have so many questions about cannibals. I'm gonna get arrested in the next few days. <laughs> Look at you, so polite. Alistair, you could learn a thing or two. Well, sit down, sit down. Tell Auntie Rosie what she can do for you. You know, Alistair, I got a primo connect on a guy with about eight blocks of territory and not enough goons to run it. Prime pickings for a deal to be made, my friend. Appreciate the offer, but we're here on business of another kind. Responsible, but I'm sure he's playing the long game here, so still don't trust him. Well, don't keep me in suspense. I'm a very busy woman. Well, as you know, the extermination is coming early. It'll be here in a month, and they're, they're coming for my hotel and my friends first, and I, 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 I... We need your help. Well, your cannibals' help, at least, to fend off the attack. You're gonna fight angels with cannibals. That is nuts. I would love to see the war if it happens. And just to see a bunch of cannibals eating angels. That would be nuts. Is that what's gonna happen? Wow, when you ask a favor, you don't start small, do you, your highness? Oh, now don't fret. I didn't say I wouldn't help, but I assume there's more to this plan than a bunch of unarmed cannibals. Oh, your people will be far from helpless when we're done with them. And by the end, they will be able to eat their fill. Well, in that case, sure, why not? I mean, I guess it's a pretty good deal. If anyone's played Baldur's Gate, this is like the deal with the uh, the ogres. It's like, yeah, you want to help me fight? You can eat anything or anybody, whatever you want. And just help me fight, and we'll we'll get along great. It worked out pretty well, so I guess I'm. I'm... <laughs> what is the face she has? <laughs> Why do you look like that? You have these like little puppy dog eyes, but you're also look. You look very angry, ma'am. Really? What oh. can I say? I like your moxie, girl. And old moxie. Alistair has never done me wrong before. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Ha! Huh. Alistair has not done her wrong yet. I wonder if he just has, like, really, like some reliable allies. Even if you're, like, a slippery little snake, you still have, like, some people that, you like, you can trust. Admirable. Uh, uh, Carmine! Carmine, we need to speak! I know what you did on extermination day. We can talk about it inside or I can yell about it out here. Fair. Fucking right you open that door. Hello? You have two minutes to convince me not to silence you for good. It's funny whenever someone has that kind of dilemma where it's like, I'll give you 30 seconds or like, you have five minutes. I, I'm a, I'm a yapper. I'm a Yaposaurus Rex, all right? I, I get too I get too anxious and I want to like talk about a lot of different things. I'm a big talker and I feel like I would die. 
if, I, if anyone gives me that dilemma, it's like, Eric, state your claim in 60 seconds or less or you're dead. I'm like, you might as well save us both the 60 seconds because I'm obviously not going to get my point across. Miss Carmine, I'm here on appointment from the princess to enlist your aid in the defense of hell from the angelic extermination. We know an angel fell at your hands and we need to know how. No. What do you mean, no? The princess of hell means nothing to me. You have to do better than Excuse that. Excuse me, ma'am. 90 seconds. With your knowledge, we wouldn't have to helplessly stand <sighs> by while- Clearly, I am not the helpless one here. 80 seconds. Well, then why? Why wouldn't you use what you know to fight? To yeah, why wouldn't she use what- You're just gonna let everybody in hell die? Ma'am? Avoid the very problem you and your little friends are facing right now. You are good- you're in the problem anyway. They're coming to hell to kill people. All right? What, are you just gonna save your own people? Okay, well, I guess if I was in that position, it'd be like a fallout shelter. And I would protect the ones I love. Okay. I will not invite destruction into my house on my people. You think we asked for this? All Charlie has ever done is try to make things better, to help her people who newsflash include your people too. And sure. how exactly has that worked out for her? Not well. 45 seconds. You didn't pick the fight, but it's here now. And they aren't going to stop with us. It's funny because, like, I've never seen one of these go poorly. Usually. It, they usually get their point across pretty well, I think. Maybe. I have to re I have to go back into that, I guess. But, like, she's not... <laughs> this lady's got an answer for everything. You didn't see the look on their leader's face. With us out of the way, it's only a matter of time before they come for the rest of you. They won't stop until all of hell is wiped out, so you can help us make a stand here together. Or you can stand alone tomorrow, and what do you think your chances will be then? You're out of time. <laughs> <laughs> Angels attack quickly, viciously, and without mercy. She, I forgot she's got those cool toesies. Slicing them up. And then her, why are her eyes glowing so much? What's your dealio? It's either Carmilla or Camilla. I need her to say it again so I can remember. You'll need to defend better than that. Cannibals and cannabis assemble in the square. Now, darling, <laughs> you know I would do anything, anything for my clients. Okay. But I can't exactly command all of Cannibal Town to follow someone else into battle. Now, don't Fair. get me wrong. They love carnage and bloodshed. But to get this group into line, you gotta win them over. Settlement! Settlement! Important meeting! But how do I... With Sparkle! Razzmatazz! And that oh-so-appealing Moxie of yours! Honestly, I like her. She's very nice and very supportive. In real. This is, this is one of my favorite people in hell so far. Oh, what a delightful human. Well, cannibal. I don't really know what you are technically now. Um, she's very, like, she's like, all right. She's like, I'll, I'll try my best, but you got, you got to put in that razzmatazz. And the moxie. She's got the moxie. Don't know what moxie is, but she's got it. Shouldn't be a problem. It's not like you've ever failed to inspire before. Mm. Now, okay. fair warning. This group sticks together, so in order to convince any of them, you'll need to convince all of them. And there's okay. one in particular. Gah, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not Susan. What's wrong with Susan? Susan, who's a bit of a... Uh, Ornery old bitch. That. She's tough. But win her over, and the rest will be easy as pot. That's unreal. Ready? I guess. Everyone, we have a very special, very royal guest. An elite employee. It's, uh, <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Has Charlie had any kind of, um, major, what's it called? Oh my god. Like, has, has she had, like, a big group of people to talk to? I, I've only ever seen her really do her thing with, like, her, her small group at the hotel, but I've never seen her talk to, like, hundreds of people. It, is, it can be very intimidating for a lot of people. I I like that kind of stuff. Oh, it gets me excited. But, um, she... I'm a little nervous about her, though. So let's see how it goes. Good evening. Please put your bloody hands together for Princess Charlie. Boo! Bring Rosie back. Susan? Susan. Susan. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. Uh... <laughs> I'm like, ah, must be. It's, it's funny. It's always cute when they do that kind of stuff. Where, like, they implant a, a character, an idea, and then 
the us, the viewers, kind of react the same way the characters do at the same time. That was the same way with, like, um, when I reacted to that one song and Mimsy came out, you know, with the Alistair thing, and we were all like, huh? Who? You know? It's the same thing. It's like, they, sh they talk about Susan, they're like, God with Susan over, and then they introduce Susan as an, well, they introduce this person that's like, what they described, and like, Susan? Susan. Honestly, that's, that's great writing. Okay, uh, my name's Charlie, Whoa! and, well, I, I run this hotel this with my partner, yeah, yeah, well, blood with someone, bitch. and, uh, wait, let me, let me start over. Wait, Angels you get a shit about hall, some hotel? Wait, before I eat those yeah. big ass eyes, uh, we need your help Whoa! with your assistance. <laughs> oh my god. Shut the fuck up. Please. Charlie, look at her. She's losing her absolute mind, and I don't know if it's because she's nervous, or if she, this lady's driving her crazy. But she's trying, man, and you can hear her talking, and I can't understand a word she's saying, because fucking Susan. <sighs> Susan. Get off! Make a stand! Where's the showmanship? Where's all the pedestrians? Fucking mediocre! Fuck you, you old bitch! Oh, okay. You will be back after a brief intermission. I love that... It's like, it seems like it's once an episode at this point, Charlie needs to be moved. Charlie, like, someone always has to grab her shoulders, shove her somewhere, drag her over here, drag her over there. She is, uh, I don't want to say an unstoppable force, because obviously she's being moved, but she is, like, I think once she's there and doing something, she will do it until she dies. And I think that's why maybe sometimes people need to move it over. It, it, it made that, that made it, that may not be the best description, um, but it's in the same vein of the idea that I have of, like, She's very determined, and she will want to stand her ground as much as she can. I think. Honestly? Ow. Mon, what is this? You, you know what? To teach you how to beat angels? That's what I'm doing. I, I was gonna say, she's kind of... She's technically fighting an angel right now. You know, she's kind of kicking the shit out of her. Huh. Beating the shit out of me? I'm not used to fighting with long hair. By showing you the flaws in your own yeah, fighting Yeah, the long hair's what's doing it. Yours and all your sisters. She's got longer hair than you. Well, I guess you're not used to it, but you got a cute little bow, though. It is a cute bow. Wait, you know I'm an exorcist? How? You have a giant X over your eye and wield an angel. That's... What? I'm sorry I clapped. I don't know how loud it is for you guys. That's what I've been saying this whole time. She understands me. Like Spear, it's not rocket science. Before you found out about me, did you know angels could be harmed? No. <gasps> that shows in how you fight. Also, you're missing an eye. How many times do we have to go over this? But also, the ladies in this episode, they're all boss bitches, all right? We have... We have... Milla, Car, Carmen from it, whatever it is. And then we have uh, Rosie. And Rosie's a boss bitch too. And then we have Susan, who's just the bitch part. You leave yourself open with every swing. You fight like someone unafraid of harm. And this is what you'll take advantage of. Angels wield no shields, little armor, and fight with reckless abandon. Do they not have a full suit of armor? Don't they have, like, helmets that come across? And don't they have, like, the suits, kind of? Strike them here, here, and here. With what? Some secret weapon of yours? Stupid girl, are you really so dense you don't realize you're holding the answer? Angelic weapons? Is One spear? Simple? How has no one else figured this out? Angelic steel isn't common. And those who have it aren't exactly rushing off to test it against exorcists. There is no way... There is absolutely no fucking way these angels are just leaving their weapons down here. Did they seriously just stab, like, one demon and just leave their spear in the demon? If they don't know that the angelic weapons hurt themselves as well after cutting out somebody's eye and they're leaving all the- They deserve it. Everybody's an idiot. But my daughters and I were cornered in that last extermination. I tried to buy time for my girls to free, and well, you don't become an angelic arms dealer without arming yourself first. I see your 
driven by your detestation. Your every step is stoked with animus. God. I don't know what it is about that, like... It... I don't know what kind of music this technically is, but it's that, 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 it's that guitar strum. It just gets the blood pumping. All right? I think they did it... In, <laughs> forgive me. I think they do it in one of the Spy Kids movies, and I think it's always resonated with me <laughs> since the movie. And every time I hear it, I get like, oh, you, oh we're ready for combat? <laughs> you need a different type of motivation Or there's no way that you can handle this I know you're thirsting for vengeance, Baggy, you're out for blood. Hold on. This is, this is a, this is spicy. I, I, I just wanted to go back because I really appreciate her like, bah, 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 bah. Like, work it, bitch. Your detestation. Let's your see every it. step is stoked with animus. You need a different type of motivation. Or there's no way that you can handle this. I know you're thirsting for vengeance, Baggy, you're out for blood But you'll only stand a chance if you're out for love Out for love, 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 love. Think of who you care about, protect them and be out for love, love, love. You're gonna fight without gloves long as you're out for love You yourself with the fear of love uh, Alright I, I, I've never, or I haven't previously ever thought of this character as a sexual character. I thought she was just a very cool design. But the way she moves, it just does something. It just does something. She moves the music. She's very confident in her steps. Step on me. Kill me. All right. somebody who's your reason to live. Harness your heart and you can't help choosing to fight with all you can give i know you're thirsting for vengeance faggy you're out for blood but you'll only stand a chance if you're out for love out for love, 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 love. think of who you care about protect them and be out for love, love, love. you're gonna fight without gloves and when that push comes to shine yeah you just might rise Where the fuck did those come from? Have you had those the whole time? We just talked about in the beginning of the episode. Well, look at that. You might just survive this. We're gonna need more weapons. All right, what has you so out of sorts? We're really not gonna talk about that she had wings the whole time. Where do they go? Do they retract? Do they spawn out of your body? Do they go through your clothes? Are your clothes ruined? Darling, you clearly got more on your mind than angels. <sighs> What do you do when someone you love lies to you about who they are? Romance? My specialty. Come on, dearie. Details. Details. My girlfriend is an exorcist angel, and she never told me. Oh, shit. Quite a secret. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Mm, just angry because we share everything. Because she always supported me and my ideas and, and, and now I don't know whether or not that was just more of the lies. <gasps> oh no, that's a horrible thing to think. Do I think that? I, I believe like ever since that point, I feel like she's been very supportive. I don't think I've seen Vaggy do a single unsupportive thing. She may have questioned some decisions, but she backed you up. I think that's, I think it's enough. I... There needs to be a little bit of more trust building in the next maybe few months or so, but I, I, I think we're fine. Yes. N no. Kind of. <laughs> you said you love this girl. Yes. Or, well, I... Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you ever once doubted that she loves you in return? Well, then what's the problem? She took what's part the in the very thing we've been working so hard to end. Wow. Isn't that silly hotel of yours all about redemption? Yes. All these women understand exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes, bitch. Okay. That's, I, I think I said that the last episode, did I not? I'm like, the whole point is redemption. That's the whole thing. And she, then that's what she's trying to do. She believes in the process. Perhaps this girl <sighs> is trying to redeem herself too. She knows better than anyone that I believe in second chances. Why not tell me? It can be difficult to admit to things you're not proud of. Especially if those things hurt the ones you love. 
She fucked up, sure. She's flawed, but hey, who down here isn't? If there's anything I've learned, it's that words are cheap, but actions, they speak the truth. Preach. So, what have her actions said? That she believes in me and what we're doing? <laughs> right now, she's off learning how to protect everything we've worked for. And I can't even pitch my hotel right. Well, how do you normally explain your hotel? By singing. But that never works. Razzmatazz. Work Razzmatazz. What song is this gonna be? What's, what song, what kind of song do you even sing for our cannibals? What do cannibals like to listen to? Something from the 70s? Let's see. And she has her his microphone. Is that dangerous? Wanted something that was so clear in your mind that yeah. you could taste it. You mean no. like human flesh? Uh, sort of. It's a feeling like a rumbling in your gut that you could finally be faced with a billion needy faces. I guess what I mean to say is, for the first time in my life, I might have to be ready for this. Ready to be the one who's leading from the front. Gotta come into my own. Gotta come into my throne. Gotta take charge and defend my only home huh? And although I kind of feel unsteady Now I need to be ready for this Have you ever felt like you're willing to die To save the people of your city? If I died, you mean use my teeth to rip flesh apart? That's a start Cause right now we need a leader And it seems to me that destiny has picked me To be that if you'll permit me So who's with me? Wouldn't it be super to see more of hell? Join up now if you like travel. Come on, boys, hop in the saddle. Okay. I'm all down for the Piona motivational thing. I don't know if I want the cannibals to spread. I don't know what they eat yet or who they eat, necessarily. They could be worse than the angels. They could be a plague from the inside. They all seem very delightful. I just don't know who they're eating. A lot of sights to see en route to my hotel Not to mention the camaraderie Yes sirree, you'll form life-changing friendships With the folks along the way And feast on all the angels you can eat Okay <laughs> They're into it <laughs> That's all you had to say? I mean, it's a good selling point, I guess It's time now to act Okay. You know, I feel like I should have expected this. You know, I guess I should have expected her to like actually start with a Wyndham over and then just one thing le leads to another and it becomes too much. It becomes too much and now sh I don't think she'll be able to control them after she says attack and then it's it's gonna be a bloodbath. Oh my god, we're actually going to war, aren't we? Oh, don't be put off oh. by the snarling mass enthusiasm, darling. Uh, they just seem a little murdery right now. <laughs> don't worry, honey, fat's that thing. Keep singing, we're super duper grateful to have you folks aboard. We can't wait to taste an angel's wings. Oh lord, for the first time in my life, maybe yeah. I can be ready for this. I can be the marshal leading the parade. I can come into my own, and I think I've always known my destiny could never be postponed. When Adam brings the battle here, I must appear like I'm ready for this. They're dancing along, they're singing her song. Surprise, why I knew she could do it all along. She's bound to pass the test. 
was a cute little Disney thing at the end of that. I, it was finding like, a hard place to pause because I was like, I was about to pause and talk about some stuff, and then they're like, da -da -da -da. I'm like, okay, all right, I'll just, I'll, I'll wait till the end. It's fine. It's, I, I'm, I, it's just more. Con Why is there two groups of people? One of them is probably cannibals. Oh, packages. Looks like you had a busy day. You too, Charlie. I hold that thought. Uh, I got you a souvenir from. Okay. Cannibal Town. Oh. oh, Charlie. The wings are new. Okay. They look nice. Come on, let's go home. Charlie, excuse me, ma'am. Now the wings are gone. Look who decided to show up. We thought we were fighting by ourselves. You're. You're still here. What? Do you think we're a bunch of pussy? I just got used to you guys. <laughs> I ain't finding no new drinking buddies. I banged all the stains on the carpet. <laughs> Brains bed. Well, looks like we have a lot of work to do. This is nuts. Dude, we are going to war. We are actually going to war. Jesus. Thank <laughs> you.